His name will be. Welcome to your new brackish water home. Brackish water is the way to go. My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my Wilden people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. All right, guys, so ever since you guys saw that MBU puffer, everyone's been asking, where is Zeus? What happened to Zeus? Zeus is A-OK. -okay. And on today's episode, I'm going to set up a brackish water tank just for Zeus. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this, and let's get it. All right, guys, so what you're going to need is you're going to need your tank. Right here, I have my 10-gallon tank. Apart from my 10-gallon tank, you're going to need the salt. That's right, guys, I'm using instant ocean this is instant ocean sea salt you're gonna need to look for some type of coral salt some type of marine salt you're not gonna want to use aquarium salt and you're not gonna want to use table salt you're gonna want to use some sea salt that's specifically made for marine aquariums as well as coral and things of that nature apart from that we're gonna need an actual bucket this is the bucket that we're gonna mix our fresh water along with our salt water to get a specific Salinity, we're also going to need this instant ocean hydrometer. This hydrometer is going to allow us to measure the specific gravity of our water. A lot of people believe that these puffer fish, such as our figure eight puffer fish, as well as our green spotted or leopard puffer fish, are actually freshwater puffer fish. But they're not. What they actually are are brackish water fish. Although they can survive and live in fresh water, the most ideal conditions for them are brackish water. And what brackish water is, is where salt water and fresh water meet. Apart from that, there's also mollies and some other fish that are ideally brackish water fish that can be converted to fresh water. So although Zeus was living life in his freshwater tank, if I want to keep him longer and if I want to make sure he's healthy, brackish water is the way to go. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to mix my brackish water. So follow along. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, I have my instant ocean hydrometer. We're going to want to have a specific gravity between 1.005 and 1.012. You're going to want to have your water. This is already pre-cycled warm water. You're gonna to wanna to fill this instant ocean hydrometer. Fill it with the water. Once you fill it with the water, you're gonna to wanna to put it on a leveled surface. Once it's on a leveled surface, what you're gonna to wanna to do is kinda of tap it, tap it. All right, it is now getting dark, so I'm gonna to have to go inside. All right, my Walden people, so we've made it inside, and let's take another look at the hydrometer. The specific gravity is below 1.004, and our goal is 1.005 to 1.012. So that's where the salt comes in handy. We're going to use this salt to get that specific gravity higher. Again, if you guys aren't aware, this is my lake water. I am using my lake water. That's what I use for all of my tanks, as you guys see right here, that are doing amazing. You may have noticed that this water may have like a brown tint to it. It has a brown tint to it because I'm using driftwood. So the tannins from the driftwood is leaching out. And that's fine because this is going to be the permanent color of my tank because I plan to add driftwood into this tank as well for Zeus, my puffer. And it's also worth noting that before you actually put any water into your hydrometer, if you used it before, it's important to add fresh water into it. That way you get rid of any residue of salt or anything that can pretty much give you false readings or false numbers. The directions for using instant ocean sea salt recommends you use about half a cup per US gallon. Guys, remember, we're not trying to get seawater, we're trying to get brackish water. So I'm gonna tone that down to about maybe one fourth of a cup. And that means we're gonna need a measuring cup. And ta-da, here it is. So let's start pouring. Add it. And start stirring it as I add it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using this tool right here to stir the water and trying to ensure that all the salt has dissolved in this water. And it's a uniform mixture. Once it's actually been dissolved completely, I'm going to use my hydrometer and measure the salinity slash specific gravity and see if it's within range. All right, now we fill this back up. Put it on a flat surface. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to tap it. 1.010 that's what I was looking for we're good to go we can start filling the tank for Zeus gotta put some cream grab up with the plant yeah, it looks nice yeah good tank is good to go all that stuff to do is scoop up Zeus and acclimate him temperature wise as well as water wise so watch how I do it okay, so I just scooped up Zeus he was in his temporary home and we're gonna transfer him to his new home all right added some water and now we're gonna allow him to acclimate what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of this brackish water into the water already in this bag to help him acclimate further. Since the salinity is different. Oh, look at him, he's ready to move. <laughs> ah. 
and I'll add a little bit more about every hour or so. I'm gonna tie this up and this will allow Zeus to float in his new home. Time to add some more water. My boy Zeus, welcome to your new brackish water home. Swim, 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 and of course enjoy. All right, my wild people, so the brackish tank is set up. This has been more than 24 hours. I got my hydrometer right here. I'm gonna check the salinity of the water as well as the specific gravity. Let's do it. All right, brackish water. Try to tap it. Let's take a look. So it's above, so it's about 1.00, I'd say six, five, six. So it is brackish water still. Not too bad, I'll take it. The reason I'm gonna take it is because I don't want it to be too much of an abrupt increase. I'll probably try increasing the salinity by doing 20% water changes every week until we have it just a little bit higher and we'll try to maintain it at that specific gravity once it's there. All right, let's see if our boy Zeus is hungry. Let's get him some snails. How <laughs> would you look at that? All right, guys, I have some more exciting news. As you guys can see, look at all the little free swimming babies. We got some light-skinned babies, some darker-skinned babies, some two-toned babies, just babies everywhere, and still a bunch of snails. Shout out to the snails for repopulating, and shout out to the guppies for repopulating as well. Look at all the free-flowing babies. This is just beautiful. Is he trying to eat the bait? No, he's trying to eat regular food. That's what I thought. Because we ain't having that over here. We ain't having you eat no babies. That's right. Mind your business. Just mind your business. Alright, good. Just making sure. I make sure that everyone's well fed. But guys, we came here for a snow. I see a big one right over there. Let's grab it. Got him. Let's drop him down the hatchet. Bam. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at my boy Zeus. That's right, go in there. Ooh. This is epic. That's a pretty big snail. Ooh wee. Okay, oh my God, that was quick. That was pretty quick. Eat up, boy. What's funny is before Zeus wasn't really destroying that many snails, which is why the MBU puppy came around. And now he's trying to do his part. We appreciate you, my brother. We appreciate you. Look at him going in. He's getting pretty big. Oh, wow. All right, that was a nice close up. Smile for the camera. He ain't done yet. It ain't over till it's over, isn't that right, Zeus? It's a circle of life. <laughs> Our boys, this is going in. We have a champion. Yeah, yeah. I'm staring at the fish in the mirror. All right, guys, so you have seen my brackish water figure eight puffer fish. Let's go take a look at my freshwater MBU puffer fish. All right, my Walden people, take a look at Puff. That's right, guys, his name is Puff Daddy. You guys commented below and let me know that you guys want his name to be Puff Daddy. It has a nice ring to it, so his name will be P. Diddy. That's right, Puff Daddy. So let's see if Puff Daddy's hungry. Let's get him a, let's get him a couple of snails. It's a nice one right over there. We got it. Let's open up the hatchet and we drop it. And does he see it puffing? Oh, okay. Puff is putting in some work. And just like that, it's gone. Okay, you did it. It was too easy, huh? Nothing left. All right, Puff, we appreciate you. All right, Puff, hope you enjoyed that snack. I'll feed you some more. All right, Puff, I hope you enjoyed that snack. More where that came from. All right, P. Diddy, Puff is ready. We'll drop one for Puff. Does he see it? Oh, and to the rescue he goes. And just like that, another one bites the dust. Oh, he's taking his time with that one. Check him out. 
Yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's a boy. Oh, that's the big one. He went in for that big one. That's our boy. Enjoy those snails. His belly's getting thick. All right, my Walden people. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed setting up my very first brackish water tank for my beautiful, beautiful puffer Zeus. Some people use RO water or reverse osmosis water. I use lake water. So I'll give you guys updates as to how my puffer fish is doing in that brackish water tank. Guys, comment below and let me know what you guys have been doing during this quarantine time to occupy your time. So yeah, just comment below. Just let me know. Apart from that, guys, stay safe and of course, stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.